Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome to my channel. This has been a long awaited slash late review because it's taken me way too long to get on camera and film this. I know that I'm probably one of the last people, if not the last person to hop on here and review this palette. But today I'm finally talking about the Anastasia Beverly Hills Jackie Ina palette. I never miss an Anastasia palette review over here. So just rest assured, all of them will be reviewed on my channel at some point or another. But with that being said, with the time that I've been procrastinating filming, I guess, I have played with this palette multiple times. I've figured out my favorite look, which I'm wearing today. So I'm going to share swatches with you guys and I'm going to share my favorite makeup look with this palette. And so if you guys want to hear my thoughts and see my review, then just keep on watching. So this is the first time that I have received a palette in PR rather than bought it myself. I've bought every single Anastasia 14 pan eyeshadow palette myself. If I wouldn't have got it in PR, I would have bought it. So I hope that you guys don't think that I'm biased at all. I'm definitely not. If I get something in PR, I still will roast it if it's horrible. Here is the packaging. I'm sure you guys have seen it all over the place, but it has the shifty kind of faux snake skin packaging. Definitely different than the the typical velour ABH packaging. Here is what the inside looks like. So it's a typical 14 pan eyeshadow palette, same layout as the previous ones, but it has six mattes and the rest of them are shimmer and metallic. Okay, so before I hop into the tutorial, I want to compare this to two palettes that I'm seeing a lot of people kind of question if they're similar. So first up, we have the Norvina palette. So we have Norvina on top and Jackie Ina on the bottom. And my opinion is that they're similar, but different enough. Next up is Modern Run. Renaissance. Modern Ren is on top, Jackie Ina is on the bottom. And personally, I don't know why people are flipping out thinking that these are the same because they're very different ballparks in my opinion. Okay, so before I show you guys how I got this look on my eyes, I am going to swatch this palette. I decided I don't really feel like going off camera and just swatching them on my arms. So one by one, we're going to swatch this palette right now. Now, I have not pronounced any of these names out loud yet, so bear with me. First, I'm gonna swatch Soleil. Soleil is this first shade right here. So there is Soleil, it's a beautiful shimmery champagne. Next up is Supreme, which is the matte pink I used today. Now, mattes don't typically swatch as good as the shimmers, in my opinion. So there we have Supreme. Next is Pinker. This is the maroon I have all over my lid. So there is Pinker, kind of more of a dusty, powdery swatch. Next up is the matte purple Big Wig. Now I have swatched all of these for Instagram and I do remember Big Wig not swatching the greatest. So there is Big Wig, definitely not the best swatch, but I don't think swatches really represent, you know, how a palette performs on the eyes. Next up is this beautiful metallic called Dwalas. <laughs> this swatch is so good, I already know. And it really just calls to me that beautiful, like money gold shade. I know I said this in my last palette review of the Jeffrey Morphe palette, but greens are calling to me. I need to just get my greens out into the world soon. Next up is a matte brown called Credit. This is actually really nice and soft. So there is Credit. It actually swatches really good for a matte. Swatches are not my favorite thing to do because they're so tedious. <laughs> Next up is another gorgeous shade called Lituation. Just like Dwalas, Dwalas, oh my god, Dwalas. Just like that green shade, this one would make a beautiful all over, like base my look off of this shade kind of shade. So that is so stunning. I just want to do a whole look dedicated to that shade. Next up is the shade Zam, and this one swatches differently than the rest of the metallics from ABH. I haven't looked into it to see if it's like a glitter or whatever, but like this is beautiful. I can't even deal. Like if you want the most beautiful bronze goddess glittery shimmery shade, you need this palette. It reminds me of all those single potted shadows that brands try to put out because it's the most beautiful universal lid metallic in this palette. Look no further. Spend no $90 on a single shadow, please. Here's where we embarrass ourselves. So this next one, wig. Wiggless? Wiggleesy? I don't know. Wiggleless? I think it's Wiggleless. Wiggleese? Now this gives me Christmas vibes. 
obsessed. Someone please remind me to do a Christmas look with this shadow. Please, please, please remind me, Santa, this shade. Next up is the shade Shookington, this purple metallic right here. Gorgeous. I don't think I own anything like this. I love it though. Next up is Trust Issues. Another stunning shade. Next up is the shade Edges. Edges is this matte kind of brick color. So there is Edges. Then we have Sponsored. And I've said this before, but this reminds me of a duochrome beetle. Stunning. And then last up, we have Ginger. Another very, very soft feeling matte. And there is Ginger. All right, you guys. So the Anastasia Jackie Ina palette swatches like a damn dream compared to some that I've swatched in the past. I have nothing bad to say about this eyeshadow palette. I feel like it is right on par with the rest of the Anastasia palettes and I'm a huge fan of them. It reminds me a lot of the Modern Renaissance formula. The only thing to always keep in mind with an Anastasia palette is you're going to get fallout because they are pressed pigments and they have a lot of like loose powder because they're so pigmented. So I would definitely typically do your eye makeup before your face makeup, but in this case, I just already had my face makeup done. There are just so many fun combinations in this palette that I can see myself doing, and for me, it screams fall, and fall is my favorite season. If you guys don't know, I'm just obsessed with everything fall, so I can't wait to play around with different combinations. I want to play around with the shade Sponsored and the shade Lituation so badly, so you guys have to let me know what color combinations you're excited for. Also, a lot of you probably already have this palette, so if you guys have some faves, let me know. But without further ado, I do want to share how I get my favorite eye look with this palette. Now this look was inspired by a beautiful makeup artist named Miranda Blake. I'm sure you guys have seen her, but if you haven't, you need to follow her. She posts the most beautiful, intricate, up-close eye looks. And she did a look with this palette that inspired me to do mine. Mine is nowhere near as good as hers. <laughs> but if you guys want to see how I get my favorite fall sultry eye look with this palette, then just keep on watching. Okay, so the first first color I took was Supreme, which is the matte pink out of the palette, and I'm taking this with a tapered blending from Sigma, and I'm going to put this all into my crease and a little bit down onto my lid, just not too high. And this is such a beautiful muted bubblegum pink. And then most of the work with this whole eye look is with the next shade. So I'm going to dip into the shade Pinker. This is the most beautiful burgundy eye popping shade. I've been wearing it for the past week and it's definitely my favorite shade out of the entire palette. So I'm picking this up with a cream color brush from Sigma and this just helps me get the shape that I want. And all I do is pat this because the brush is rounded. I pat this all over my lid space, letting the brush kind of carve out where my lid is. And then I fill in the lid space all with the same shade. I am getting fallout on my face, so I will need to brush that away. Then once the shade is packed, I pick up a little bit more with my favorite E27 Detail Blending from Sigma, and I just very softly in circular motions blend out the entire edge and then I like to go back in with more of the pinker shade and just fill in any gaps that the blending created because the blending does take away some of the shade then I'm going in and just blending above the crease then I take the first blending brush that still has a little bit of that pink shade on it and I just blend very gently towards the brow. And right now I'm just deepening the crease a little bit more with the pinker shade just so it matches the other eye. Then I'm gonna pick up some more of the Supreme Pink shade on a tiny blender. This is the Blending E36 brush and I'm going to place this underneath my lower lash line. And these shades make green or hazel eyes seriously pop out like this is one of the most eye-flattering eye looks that I've done on my channel. So I'm taking more of that pinker shade and just blowing out the lower lash line. Then on a clean cream color brush, I'm going between Zam and Soleil, and I'm picking them both up, and this is what's going to go on the inner corner of my eye. So again, I love this brush because it is rounded, so all you have to do is just pat it 
and it's right in the shape that I want it to be. So it's the most simple look ever, but it's so, so beautiful. It's one of my favorite fall looks ever. I'm going to pop on my lashes and that's it. All right, you guys. So this is the completed eye look with the Anastasia Jackie Ina palette. I hope that you guys enjoyed this tutorial and the swatches, and I hope this helps you out if you were still curious about this palette. I know I'm super late. I love it. I think it stands out from the other palettes, and I feel like it even swatches better than some of the other palettes, especially the duochromes and metallics. I think there's something special about them that makes me want to dip into them so bad. But I think it's pretty clear that I've been having a lot of fun with this palette, and I really, really enjoy it. So it's definitely approved by me. If you guys have any questions about this that I maybe didn't cover, then leave them down in the comments and I'll get back to you. Also, if you have any requests, please let me know. Thank you guys so much for being patient with me and for watching this video and hanging out with me. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up for me. And before you go, make sure you are subscribed so you don't miss out on future content. And hopefully I will see you all in my next video. Bye.